Hello, my name is Sergio Abose. I am a painter. I live in Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, why I choose to become an artist and um, why I choose painting as my medium of expression is uh, because I feel um, art is the most comfortable way I could um, express myself and painting that is also like the most um, easier way for me to express uh, my my concerns, my life experiences and I feel that so many things I would like to see as an individual. So I use my art to to convey these messages, I use my art to convey and uh, to document these experiences, I use my art to ask questions and I use my art to to provide and suggest solutions to issues that I'm not comfortable with in my society. Yes, I do study art from the Lagos State Polytechnic right here in Nigeria, where I did a, a five-year uh, diploma course. The first year I did um, a two-year national diploma where I was opportune to, to um, exercise uh, through the uh, different schools of art like um, painting, sculpture, ceramics and after then I went for a one year internship where I was able to to acquire some other skill from um, a television house because I decided not to go to a painting or sculpture studio because I want to explore life and I want to have an idea of how some other things are done. But when I returned for my higher diploma, which is a, a two-year course, I specialized in painting and I graduated in um, painting um, in the year 2013. And since then, I've been practicing um, as a graphics designer until 2017 when I decided I want to be a full-time um, artist, uh, which is uh, painting, which is what I study in school. The subject uh, matters that gives me energy to create um, new works. Uh, over the years, since 2017, uh, when I've been practicing um, as a full-time painter, I have been addressing issues that surrounds my life experiences. I've been documenting my time of existence. But in recent time, since 2019, I've been showing, I've been, I've been becoming aware of uh, political activities in my, that affects my communities. I've been aware of uh, policies made by people that are uh, meant to serve, that have been voted to, to serve the interest of uh, the populace. I have been showing interest in and been showing concerns in the way people that share community with me also feels. So I've been putting these concerns on canvas. I've been asking questions, political related questions with my works. And also I have been uh, documenting um, um, how I also feel. So I use a investigative approach, which is like I ask people questions, uh, mostly indigent, and I put uh, their concerns, how they feel, on canvas, I put their questions on canvas, and also how I use self experience approach, also, which is how I feel. So, I've been using these two approaches to address and talk about political issues and how we've been affected as, um, as a people um, on my canvas. Um, and my city, Lagos, I think it's supportive and also very. Um, vibrant uh, in the sense that um, there are a series of galleries around and also there are a series of um, opportunities that has been provided for artists uh, um, in the country. Uh, for instance, um, uh, there are galleries that organize um, exhibitions that gives grants to artists under the age of 30 and also the, the art fair, uh, West African art fair, art Ex, that holds in Lagos um, every year that brings uh, different galleries from around the world. I think it's very inspiring in the sense that even without going out of Nigeria, we are opportune to, to 
see Akale is bringing um, works of artists we've been reading about into into the country and for 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 young artists like mine to to have opportunity to see and also the high number of artists around I think it also makes it inspiring at the same time because you get the opportunity to see series of artists, meet series of artists, ask questions from artists and also we are the fact that we also have artists that also go out of the country that also show all around the world for instance uh, we have some visual artists here who, who who has shown in different parts of the world and who has shown in uh, the Venice Biennale so I think uh, Victoria Kameno and to mention a few and also uh, I think Ellen Asui also is um, yeah, also uh, schooled in Nigeria so I think having series of um, these artists and also read, not just reading about them being able to meet them also is very inspiring and uh, the fact that uh, availability of um, uh, of, um, of materials also I think it's, um, it's there are some materials that are very challenging to get but I think there are like the basic ones that are used for painting can be easily accessed uh, around so I think um, and also the the we have different art institutions around like um, we have series of arts uh, related uh, institutions in Nigeria and also we have residency uh, spaces and I think it's still growing it's still growing uh, but uh, the fact that compared to other uh, compared to conversations I've had with other artists from different countries I think uh, it's vibrant and it um, it's encouraging and it's supportive in a way, yeah. What makes my country, Nigeria and Lagos, uh, an interesting place to make at first, Lagos is uh, like a population of over 21 million people and Nigeria is like one of the most um, populated countries in the world. So I think <laughs> the energy that is being demanded to survive alone, I think uh, it's something to talk about and also the 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 undocumented or the unwitting culture that everybody practices. Like there is a saying that Lagos is a, a city that never sleeps. So uh, I think um, from doing the weekdays from Monday to Friday evening, Lagos is always very busy. Like you hardly see, um, uh, you, the eyeballs of everybody is always look up, up because of everybody striving to survive. But uh, also uh, we still find um, a way to relax, uh, we find a way to go for the Nigerian love over the weekend, we still find a way to go for the Owambe um, over the weekend. Um, I think so. I think all these things, all the activities, uh, I think uh, the transportation also is very challenging and um, it, um, you know, like uh, you have to leave your house hours uh, to meet up, to, to pick up traffic. I think this lifestyle that is um, quite different, I think it's it's a good thing and it, it gives a special energy to always want to face the canvas and also the noise uh, the noise of the horns that you hear i think those things are actually uh with the makeup um, to 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 help the, the the artists who always want to create something um unique so i think it's a unique city it's a um, an inspiring city the, there are ups and downs but every we still try to to get an inspiration from it so i think uh, Lagos is a very interesting um, place to always want to create works of art. Yeah. Uh, my ambition as an artist and what I wish to achieve, uh, first of all, I, I have always um, wished that one day, and I still continue to hope and wish that one day my voice that I'm speaking through my works would be heard and um, changes um, that we are demanding with these works can be made. And also, I wish that my works could be an inspiration and and also an educative tool to the upcoming generation. In the sense that I wish my works will have a legendary trademark that upcoming generations could will be able to be positively um, influenced uh, and also make a positive statement that will last a, a for that will last the test of time. And also, I wish to materially um, support uh, uh, artists that, that will come after me by like providing opportunities and uh, providing grants like um, residency spaces and 
uh, just to make um, the profession um, interesting and easier for them compared to how tasking and difficult it um, it was for <laughs> it's still very tasking and challenging for an upcoming artist like me.